Here we develop the framework generated in stage one of the Portmino grammar to define John Portman's language of the house into a configuration. So on the left we have four rules that develop the minor grid and we start with this first rule which focuses on the purple layer in the tartan grid of the framework on the right. To develop it into the characteristic minor spaces in John Portman's 1964 house, Intellecti 1. And these can be applied all in parallel for every match that's found. The next three rules focus on orienting the minor spaces to differentiate interior spaces from perimeter spaces in the third rule. to corner spaces in the fourth rule. The next three rules focus on orienting one side of the design as an entry side by adding a double line and trimming the minor spaces on that front side so that they're unique in that they open up towards the entry side instead of towards the interior. The next three rules focus on establishing the entry sequence, which is characterized by a recessed entry on the front side of a design, which is followed by a foyer moving into the interior, which is always connected to an exterior view, which in this case with the 3x3 three three depth is achieved by having a double height space directly on axis with the entry. The next three rules focus on opening up additional double height spaces off the foyer and then correcting the continuity of double height spaces as they meet corners and as they approach the entry condition where if it's not a double height space it will result in an inaccessible room. And the final rule generates a half module that extends the foyer and provides a mini vestibule to adjacent spaces to complete the production of a configuration in the Portmino language.